Welcome back to Bitsby Trip, and this is your host Carter. Let's get into this. The Radeon 7, what is it and will it be any good? The newest graphics card announced at CES 2019 during the AMD keynote. We got a few minutes with the Radeon 7 in the AMD booth shortly after the talk and asked AMD engineers with this new 7 nanometer architecture, how would that compare against the current offerings, the Vega 64 and 56? It gave us a few quick stats. GPU architecture of the Vega 20 versus the 10, 7 nanometer versus 14 nanometer. Shaders was a little down compared to the RX Vega 64 at 1340 versus the 4096, leaving the RX Vega 64 having 256 more. The peak floating point 32 compute being at 13.8 teraflops versus 12.5. Texture units being at 240 versus the RX Vega 64 being at 256. However, the base boost clock having a sizable 250 megahertz base clock and nearly 300 megahertz on the boost clock. And where it really comes in, doubling the memory bus with 4096 bit versus 2048 on the HPM2. And then just a slight increase of 700 million transistors setting at 13.2 versus 12.5. The real interesting situation is the fact to keep the Radeon 7 in its lane, the word from AMD is that it's going to disable or possibly lower the FP64 performance to keep it distinguished between its higher end workstation brethren, the new Radeon Instinct MI50 and MI60 respectfully. As reported by Tom's Hardware, the Radeon 7 even with reduced FP64 based numbers, should still be pumping out 682 gigaflops of FP64 performance and will stay ahead of the NVIDIA Titan RTX's 509 gigaflop and the GeForce RTX 2080's 420 gigaflops. Now for gamers, that's not that much of a big deal as double precision floating point performance normally stays in the realm of specialized compute related tasks and usually is typically paired with ECC memory for higher accuracy of co calculations. This too would have no real effect with cryptocurrency hashing as no, there is no direct conversion from floating point operations per second versus hashes as hashes involve integer operations of whole number math where flops involve floating point math. In the most layman's term, floating point math uses a lot of decimal points and in not heavy precision applications may round up on a decimal point where you can get an approximation where in some calculations you need the exact amount of decimals to have high accuracy. Most operations are fine with the rounding up and having a less of a precision. While we are on the subject of cryptocurrency, while out in Vegas we were unable to do any testing with the Radeon 7, however we did talk to AMD about some potential numbers. Basically their engineers estimated at least 25% increase to existing speed of the Vega 64 without any optimization. This would pit an estimation of non-confirmed hash rates for Ethereum from 42 mega hash to around 53 with less power. After watching AMD's keynote and hearing about 62 performance in the computing side, it makes me wonder if they're downplaying the mining performance given the gamers a chance at the $699 price point for a strong competitor to the RTX 2080. Time will tell as we plan picking one up on February 7th and then we can really tell if this car can live up to the performance. The one comment I've seen a few times is how much will the performance increase on Crypto Night, where currently the Vegas 64 and 56 are the reigning champion. The current performance on an optimized Vega 64 is around 2,050 kryptonite hash. Could we see 3,000 plus on the performance? That remains to be seen. In closing, thanks for you guys' viewership. Don't be afraid to leave some comments and your own estimations. And be sure to subscribe to catch this content as it comes out here in the next few weeks.